So it took me a good hot minute to not only get rid of the Waspitos, but also the robots. It was so bad that not only did Nioka and Pravati was MIA since they were that weak from being attacked, I had to battle the rest by myself. And the only weapon that's working right now with some good decent ammo is my flame floor. Like, it's just getting crazy at this point. Oh, hey. Are those wasp keto hives? To get away from it. I'll keep my distance. Cool. All right, I'm not trying to battle anything else, so I'm going to see if I'm able to get inside this place. Where? Where is this discrepancy that you are telling me, sir? Please, like... Ooh. Is it here? This multi-purpose tool would be non-descriptive anywhere else, but he here, there's something strange about it. Tool is comprised of 99% plastic, 0.5% steel, and 0.5% carbonated sugary beverage. Trace amounts of kerosene, alcohol, hydrazine, and liquid hydrogen also detected. Okay, so the casting is pack-marked and scratched. It's been well used. You also notice an inch-long steel panel haphazardly half nailed into its side. You collect a nearby rod of metal and, sliding it beneath the panel, push down on it until the panel comes free. As it falls away, you see that it was hiding a slug logo. What did you find, Cap? It's likely that whoever released the Waspitos was a slug employee. I know Sublight deals in shadiness, but sending swarms of horrible insects after us is a new low. I agree. Um... There's some foreign substances on the tool. This thing didn't originate in the orchard. This Waspito fiasco wasn't an accident, huh? Nope. It was not. Alright, so let's go ahead and abort the cycle. And let's check the recent activities. Okay, so this system has been illegally accessed by a person or persons not employed by the Rizzo's Corporation. Brute force to trigger an unscheduled pollination cycle was used to override this device's protocols. Protected records and documents may be compromised. Caution is advised. Hilda, generally when two co-workers get blasted out their minds on Spectrum Vodka, and one of them makes a joke about how wild it would be if someone put wafts and mosquitoes together, he doesn't wake up the next day with a promotion and a couple hundred thousand rabbit insects on his backpack. I can appreciate a good joke as much as the next guy, but I got a message earlier today about making sure I increase quarterly yields, and it wasn't from you. If you wanted to, I don't know, bail me out sooner rather than later, I'll be most obliged. Hilda, I'll put it bluntly, this place is one bad key press away from total disaster. Earlier today, I accidentally selected the begin pollen cycle function on this terminal. The cycle just activated, no password protection, no confirmation message, nothing. As it so happened, there was a scheduled tour making its way through the orchards at about that moment. Somehow, that idiot groundskeeper exterminator mechanicals got activated, giving the waspitos something to sting that was in their tour group. Those people barely got away with their lives, and I don't think we'll be so lucky next time. My supervisor has apparently scheduled me for some kind of standard medical treatment, but when I come back, I better have a message from you apologizing for not responding to my messages and containing an immediate transfer to somewhere that isn't here. I've had enough. Boy, Morris is definitely on a bad luck trip. Hilda, I reread my last message to you, and I feel I owe you the deepest and most heartfelt apologies. 
I have been such an entitled bore since I received this promotion. In reality, I should have been thanking you. To oversee the day-to-day -day coming and going of creatures as majestic as these wasp beetles is a great honor. Congratulations on your promotion, by, by the by. I would have thought I'd be mad, especially considering how central my waspitos were to your new position. But since their treatment, I found it difficult to stay mad about much of anything. I hope you enjoy it, Byzantium. Okay, so he got charged up with that happy juice, and now he's not complaining anymore. And that sucks. And I'm gonna take these, because no one else is gonna take them, so... Alright, so now that the Wispedos are out, let's go and talk to... Well, in all reality, I feel like I should be able to finish up on... The bottles. So, I'm gonna go to Sydney and see if she's able to help me find the other bottles. Okay, so since I took care of the wasp beetles, you should be good enough for me to ask. Well, 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 it's Rizzo's. Ew. Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Wow. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. Yo, are you tweaking? You, uh, doing all right? No, bro. You see the slug I in her sure her am. neck? Good lamps you got on you to take notice. What? Um, why in law's name is on your neck? That? I call it my little passenger. Right. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. Uh, showed up. Uh, how long have you had this uh pa this this passenger? Couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. So where did you find this litter, this little passenger? I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad. So I don't worry about it. Don't move. I'll try and cut it off Don't you, you dare! Off you. Really? I Gosh, really wish you would. I don't know where that came from. I just felt this urge to protect my little passenger, even if it means hurting you. All right, fine. Let's just change the topic. Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Um... Halcyon Helen was in the orchards before she died. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of tossball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Freddy's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. Yo, you're wild for that. What's wrong with you? Um, seems a little soon. Oh, it's never too soon for happiness. Why wait when I could act now? That's dumb wild. I don't know if it's because of that ugly ass slug on your neck, but whew. Um... Anything can tell me about the orchards? I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon. Give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. I might be interested in hearing more about your tours. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. 
<laughs> Rizzo's really pushes the hard sell, huh? Huh? Oh, no. Rizzo's doesn't make me recommend the tour. Helping customers just makes me even happier than I already am. And that's saying a lot. Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. This doesn't feel right, Cap. She's on something. I'm not quite sure what you mean. There's really nothing better than feeling a euphoric sense of happiness and self-contentment. Now I'd be pleased as punch to sell you a tour ticket. What are my options? We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10-minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with the novelty Purpleberry and Amber. And the Golden Ticket is audio-guided in addition to being self-guided. Uh, I'll buy a ticket. Which kind would you like? I'll take the Golden Ticket, because this is Willy Wonka, bitch! You're in luck. We have one left. Normally, there are 100 bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? I'll take it. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, have you sold any Spectrum from the storage warehouse shipment? Wow, what a strange question. Not I'm really. I'm much too delighted to be suspicious. Good. I sold lower level spectrums to workers from RR&DD Labs, Hive Control, and the Conservatory. Jacob's predecessor also splurged briefly on a bottle beyond his pay grade, and Black Hole Birdie bought my most expensive spectrum when he visited. I wish he'd bought more. Oh, if you're looking for your own spectrum, remember that you can always buy from the Nut Hut or the Grand Colonial Bar, so long as you have the bits to back up your taste. Okay, goodbye. Okay, this is pretty interesting, so... Wow, I'm level 24. Let me just check on my journal quickly. So... I did everything else, so now I need to collect all eight variants of the Vaca. So I need to find the red, orange, blue, green, violet, and black. So there's two places we can take a look at. So I guess let's liquor hunt at this point. Incoming! Oh, come on. I came here just to get some liquor, bro. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Yo, these people oh, are tweaking. Oh, <gasps> what the hell? No. Nah. These people are tweaking because of those things on their necks. Oh, hell no. This is worse than Joker's laughing gas. Like... Okay, I got the yellow. That's pretty dandy here. Next, all I need is... Let me see. Journal. I need all eight. Alright, so the last one is over there. So let's just... Run over here quickly. Ooh. I'm definitely gonna take this and I'm gonna take that. I just love taking stuff because no one's gonna use it anyways. Like. Oh shit, I collected all eight. Oh my god, bro. Like. What's this? Haha, -ha, are those Halcyon Helen and Typhon Tim, I spy? Crouching in the dark like terrified sprats. A fine job you two did on my ship. Most of my crew was torn to bits by the rampaging beast. I have found you to pay you back with interest. I say we shall defer that payment, shouted Typhon Tim, and his hand flew to his holstered automag. Eerie, his fingers even touched the weapon's grip. He was struck 15 times in the face by a hail of bullets from Mercer's weapons, at which point he promptly expired. Damn, he didn't even have enough time to defend himself. Helen, 
cool as usual in the face of death, hefted her bottle of nearly 100% male grub-free purpleberry liqueur and hurled it toward the villain. Her aim was true as ever, and the projectile struck Mercer in the forehead. Damn, that Mercer must have a fat-ass forehead. Knocking him out so soundly, he could not even utter a curse. Fine aim, ma'am, said a woman close by, once the other patron's cheers subsided. Though I must say, I am sorry for your friend. As, as was I at first, but then I witnessed what lay in the wake of the bullets. Look! And as she gestured at what was left of Typhon Tim's head, something small and black began to wiggle among the gore. That's cute. Alright, so I got insert the spectrum to unseal the weapon. <gasps> I get a new weapon? Oh, yeah. I always like getting new weapons. I feel like it's Christmas all over again. Alright, so let's see what weapon I'll get. Okay, so the weapon should be over there somewhere, so... Oh, rest in peace. I totally forgot you guys were there. Okay, so... Open cases. Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> Get the hell out of here! This is the weapon?! Yo, my goodness! This is dope! Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and the strength of their effects both increase as your science skill is increased. Dibs. Mega dibs. You give that directly to me. No, 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 ne Nioka. Ma, that is mine. Okay? That is mine. Anyways. I gotta... Hold on. I gotta go change my weapon now. I'm pretty intrigued as to what I actually got. Um, you know what? I'm gonna unequip this, and then I'm gonna put on this. Yo, this is a cool weapon, but I only have 80 bullets. There's always a fucking catch. Damn this fucking game. Alright, let's head to the next mission. Okay, so... I know I keep on going back to my journal, but who cares? Like... I want to make sure I have everything. So, let me see... I'm gonna go and do this one. I'm gonna report to a minute. Well, should I? Or should I go to the Prophet of Probability? If I could find her. Damn, she's all the way over there. You know what? I'm gonna do the first one first because he's pretty much close, so. I have no problem walking over to him to let him know what I found so far. And then after that, I'll talk to the Prophet of Probability. Oh. Oh, she's just staring at me. Let me see what she wants. I swear to the architect, Matthias. If you've lost your rifle's ionization coil again. Oh, wait. You ain't part of my crew. What do you want? Um, are you okay? You sound a little tightly wound. Tightly wound? Tightly wound? Damn right, I'm t I'm fine. I'm going to my calm place, where there's peace and quiet, and none of my sprat fucking subordinates can bother me. On behalf of Slug, I'd like to apologize for that outburst, as well as all of my future outbursts. Yes, I'm a little wound up. You would be too. Between the landing pad, lockdowns, gate closures, and constant questions from angry guests, I've got a lot on my plate. And if that don't beat all, one of my crew is AWOL. A missing person? I'm actually an inspector. Could look into that for you. If you're serious, I'd appreciate the help. He's been missing a few days. 
and we're low on staff as it is. A few days? Why'd you wait until now to search for him? It's not exactly uncommon for slug agents to go on the odd bender. They'll pick a place they think I don't know about and hunker down. Usually I don't bother with the discipline and paperwork. Gotta pick your battles. Thing is, they usually resurface within 24 hours, or at least yell for medical help. This guy, not a peep. I'll look into it. What do I need to know? The missing crew member's Evan O'Connell. He's one of about two slug agents I can trust with more complex tasks than stand here and look tough. Friendly type. Well behaved, followed orders. Anyone else, I'd think they got drunk and fell asleep in a ditch somewhere, but O'Connell's not really the type. He was last stationed at the Wilderness Checkpoint. I'd search there first. I'll get on that. Alright, so let me see where is this quest at. Um, the Watchman. He's somewhere over there, so that's perfect because we were heading there anyways, regardless, so. Wow, it's like a lot of stuff has been happening all at once. Halcyon Helen's death, missing guards. This place is so unorganized. Wow, is this like a private... Let me see. Samples will be built to your room? Dead ass? Well, you know what? I don't think anyone is going to need these samples because I'm going to drink the whole thing. Anyways. What's this? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Where? This is... This is a puddle of unreleased Rizzle's product. Helen appears to have attempted to use it to spell something as she expired, but all she managed was a sticky B. Was she trying to spell the name of her killer? This hypothesis is plausible, but requires additional information. Isn't Black Hole Birdie staying here? Correct. Bertie Blackhole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. Anybody else I should know about? Accessing guest database B. The Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs. Bertie, comma, Black Hole. Burbage 3001. Make a note of this for later, Amplifier. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre-approved complement. Splendid work, Inspector. Thanks. Wow, already they have a funeral for her. And that's Halcyon Helen. Hmm. So sad. Alright, let's talk to this missing... Missing employer downstairs. Am I correct? Probably. I hope you catch the killer soon, Inspector. I don't want to see the Grand Colonial shut down. No worries. No, I'm sorry. We don't serve any drinks with those tiny umbrellas. I got you. I'll definitely find the killer. Something mighty strange went on earlier. What happened? Norville get his cap stuck in the toilet again? Not today. I was carrying a bag up to the second VIP guest floor earlier. Even for I'm sorry, I keep going. I didn't want to intrude on the conversation, but I guess not. Huh. This is a pretty cool kitchen. Excuse me, ladies. Ah, that's where it ends. Alright, so I guess is there another place? You, uh about the murder how the hell could i all right so let me see if it's somewhere Can't here imagine what it must be like living down here like sprats in a wall timeline discrepancy detected nearby I... where inspector i've detected a structural anomaly within a Point eight meter radius of this locked door. 
Uh, could you narrow that down for me? This floor panel is 0.3 millimeters shorter than regulation length, suggesting unauthorized modification. I'll bear that in mind. Um... Incoming. Where? Oh! Oh! Oh, lord. So, I gotta get the key. Ugh. How would I get the key? Huh. Let me look at my journal again. Amelia Stilwell escorted Evan to room A2 in the lower level of the Grand Colonial Hotel to sleep off whatever was affecting him. So I would need to talk to this girl, Amelia. I mean, this is what the room would look like. Ooh, what's this? This pile of cartilages contains the IDs of Halcyon Helen's sidekicks who were killed, mortally wounded, mulched, melted, torn to ribbons, decapitated, or turned into mechanicals in the line of duty, or otherwise identified post-mortem. Typhoon Tim, Olympias Opel, Terra 2 Terry, Sparks the Wonder Canid, Bird Badges 1900 through 1999, Bolt Vanderhue, Eridanos Eve, Inconsequential Groundbreaker Maintenance Worker number 13B9, Kelly Bison, the broker with four broken limbs. Halsey Felax, the entire 26 season of the title backers, IDs blackened beyond individual recognition. Stakeout Steve, Dirk Tenderly. Huh. Dell's this. Is there something that I need to know? Something is leading me here, but what is it? I mean, I'm gonna steal the water, but... What are you trying to tell me, game? Nothing. I'm as clueless as ever, because why not? Oh. Okay, it's just chapters and chapters, that's cool. Um, I don't know. It's like, I really don't know what to do or say. And I don't know how to get the key, but... I guess I can go upstairs, so... Let me see here. Wait, maybe I can find in the locker, right? I was a few minutes late with room service earlier today. Guessed I was trying to serve shot at me with a revolver. I left... No, keep talking, please. I'm not trying to be nosy. Sorry. Okay, fine. You can not talk. Like, whatever. I'm gonna ask to see what's, uh... going on with the key here. Maybe she wouldn't know yeah, what to do. Is that the girl? Wait, is that the girl I need to talk to? Still well. The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? Um, goodbye. She's not the right one. How am I we supposed to- should try to, to solve the puzzle hedges in the orchards. The prize is supposed to be something valuable. There's so many hotel guests. Finally checked in, I see. I hope you're fond of the penthouse. It's pretty much the best seat in the whole hotel. You shouldn't want for any amenity you might find elsewhere. Should act as a better headquarters for the investigation than any space dust covered ship. That and you ain't got room service on a ship. You ever need anything, come find me. Even if you don't, you can still swing by. I'm always happy to chat. Aw, you're so nice. Um, 
Did you know the victim? Oh, of course. That is, uh, maybe not on a personal level, but I'm one of her biggest fans. Even started an association of like-minded individuals. I'd lament not having anything to meet about anymore, but the newer tribe just ain't done it for us. Still, there goes my hopes of a Terran Monarch reunion episode. There are other celebrities, right? Sorry, friend, but I guess you don't get it. Helen was special, had a certain quality about her, like she would really go out and fight injustice. You look at Woolrich, and no disrespect to the man, but you just don't get the same feeling. He reminds me more of a vacuum suit without nobody in it. Damn. Uh, don't tell him I said that. Now, what can I lend a hand with? Um, mind if I ask you a few questions about the crime scene? Please do. Uh, you want to give me more details on how you came across the body? Sure, I'd taken to checking the barroom every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just to make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five-hour sleep period. Tell ya, thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since. And hey, now I can finally see smells. Any idea why Helen would have been in the ballroom after hours? Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was, uh, practicing for the unveiling? Did you kill Helen? You can tell me if you did, it'll be our secret. What? No! Just because I found the corpse doesn't mean I made her a corpse. I was in shift all day. Besides, I loved Helen's cereals. Well, the old ones, anyway. The newer episodes are hot junk on a warm day. Back to my other questions. Sure. What's on your mind? Did you see Helen on the day of her death? Of course I did. I just told you I found the body. Oh, wait. Uh, you mean when she was still breathing? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, no, no, of course I didn't. Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. I think we both know that you're itching to gossip. Honestly, you're more than a little right. <laughs> I've been burning at the bridges to share my theories. Day of her death, I saw Helen leave the hotel premises of the profit of profitability. Mm -hmm. And didn't see her come back. A little on the suspicious side, I think. Seemed especially strange seeing how, as far as... I was aware the two didn't get on. What's the deal with the profit of profitability, she had guessed? Uh, yep. Gives seminars on increasing profit margins and the like. Can't say much else, seeing how I ain't in the gossip market. Why didn't Helen and the profit get along? As far as I can recall, Helen dismissed the lady's seminars in some kind of interview. Said her co-star used them, but she didn't. The top rungers are always ready to read between the lines of famous folks and seem to think the prophet was on her way out. Woman lost a ton of bits and is set to lose more. Back to my other questions. I hope all that helped. I'd like to be as useful as I can in the investigation. I just didn't want to steer anyone the wrong way. Got any idea who might have wanted to do Helen in? Everyone's got theories. I don't reckon mine hold much more weight than anyone else's. Goodbye. In that case, profit or profitability is, you know, my next person of interest. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.